podcast. No, no, no. I, Wells Cargo. I don't think she's fake crying. You remember the, you know the fake crying I like? Do you remember when she was crying about fucking Black Lives Matter? Do you guys remember that? Please tell me you guys remember when Kalala started crying about Black Lives Matter, about, um, what's his face? Um, what's the guy that died? Um, oh, what's the fucking guy that died, man? That spurned all the fucking riots. She just started crying about feeling guilty that she didn't protest or that she wasn't black or something. I don't know what it was, but she made it all about herself. That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, Flo- what's his name? Yeah, what's his name? What's his George Floyd? Do you remember that? What she started crying about that? Please tell me you guys remember that. Oh, I wish I could get it up, man. Um, let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, George Floyd. Kalila crying let's see if i can let's see if let's see if we can get it up on you let's see uh kalila crying george floyd no oh, i don't know if it's on here man or was it was it was it bgl oh, come on please let's see if i can find it can we find it here is it this one is it simpletons i think it might be this one it might be that one right simpleton speaking yeah, this is the one. This this has to be the one. Let's see. This is fucking incredible. She started crying. Like I don't. I, I just don't understand why. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> She's like, I wish. I wish it could have been me. I wish that could have been me with the cops fucking knee on the back of my neck. <laughs> One time when I was 19 and I let some black guy in Philly finger by me in the toilet. <laughs> it just brought back lots of memories. <laughs> Let's see, where where is it? Where is it? Oh. Someone got in the comments Obviously. Here? Time stamp. Let's see someone's got it's wrong. Obviously, getting fired is Hold on. Let's see someone's got a time stamp in the comments. Do we have a time stamp here? Oh, I've got a comment here for ages ago. Look at me. Uh, where is it? No one's time stamp here? Okay, cool. Let's see. It's somewhere here. It's somewhere here. Let's see. It's somewhere here. Not enough? Because that was the initial response. Bear me a second. Let's see. We, we, we live through these events that happen, right? <laughs> She's already getting emotional in the back. <laughs> uh, and, and as a simpleton, right, oh, oh no. attempt to um, open up my mind and, and my horizons. Come on, come. Where is, where is, where is it? Be ashamed of ourselves. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Here we go. It starts here. It starts around here. It starts around here. Um, it starts around here. It starts around here. Let's go. You know, let's go. Let's go. American and I, and I think country. that's ultimately it. Like, you know, what you said, um, even though all of the things are correct, um, you know, like immersing yourself, trying to educate yourself, take it one step further. I think the problem with a lot of people, including myself, and I can only speak on behalf of myself, I suppose, I'll tell you my experience, is um, I gave myself pass after pass after pass. Immigrant mom gave myself a pass. Um, Grew up in a third world country, gave myself a pass. Went to a predominantly black high school, gave myself a pass. Have a black best friend. The Tyrone rumors might be true then, isn't it? And gave myself a pass. Dated black men gave myself a pass. I gave myself a pass and exempted myself from an, any type of introspection. And I gave myself a pass from possibly, from possibly checking myself about all these little insidious, bad, racist habits that I've picked up along the way. Like, I'm willing... <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Imagine this is off the back of the fucking George Floyd death, right? This is off the back of all those riots that's fucking, you know, blowing up all over the United States. This is off the back of really charged and emotional conversations about police brutality and poverty and inequality. All this sort of stuff's happening. And this is how she fucking responds to it. <laughs> She's talking about how she might have been racist back in the day. <laughs> because she said the fucking N-word a couple of times in rap songs or something, or I don't know. Or asked to fucking touch her black friend's hair. I don't know. What the fuck she's talking about? I'm willing to wear the black hat. I think that all of us should be wearing a black hat. I think we should all be ashamed of ourselves. I think that we've been really defensive about 
oh, where we, no, I'm not racist. I'm not racist. Yeah, we fucking are. Have we made mistakes on this podcast? So many. When we call them mud Asians, so many. When we make. Okay, when you said mistakes, what mistakes are they talking about? Are they, are they using the hard R or something? <laughs> Make fun of Indians. Oh, so many. When okay. we call oh, black yeah. people greasy. So many. Oh, yeah. All oh. I'm saying is... <laughs> oh, did we say Gook? Gook, here? yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, all I'm saying is, like, I can only speak for myself, and I'm telling you guys right now, I'm sad, I'm confused, but most importantly, I'm just so ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed that I've exempted my own loved ones from their own racism because I thought that they were inherently good people and that that should be enough. I'm ashamed that, that they exempted me from my own bad behavior. Like, I'm ashamed of having friends I never checked, from never reaching out in my own community and trying to, like, do little things. I'm ashamed that I've been quiet. What the, f what the fuck are you talking about? What, what next? I'm ashamed that I don't like to eat jerk chicken. I'm ashamed that I don't like to eat orange rice. <laughs> I'm ashamed I only use salt and pepper as seasoning. <laughs> I'm ashamed I don't know how to doggy. I'm ashamed I don't have the Harlem shake. <laughs> I'm ashamed that I'm ashamed that I think Kid Rock is better than Tupac. Like what? <laughs> I might as well. This is how I view myself. Die. I just might as well be that same person watching black people get lynched during Jim Crow. That's <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. Just donate some money to fucking George Floyd's family and keep it moving, bro. Why is she turning this into <laughs> an episode of fucking self-flagellation? You know what it reminds me of? This reminds me of, do you know when, um, is it Catholics that do it, right? Is it self-flagellation? When Catholics, when they're repenting, like they're proper, like um, the proper fucking, um, what you call it, serious ones that wear the robes and shit. And then when they're fucking repenting, they kneel down on like the hard floor with no cushion or anything. And they get like a whip that's got like spikes on it and they whip themselves or someone whips them so that they can repent for their sins or whatnot. This is what it kind of feels like. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, but it's, but, but this is, that's excessive, but this is ultra excessive because it's like, babe, just donate some money. Like put some money into the GoFundMe. George Floyd has a niece or a daughter or something, you know, I don't know cover the fucking funeral costs whatever it may be but this whole like now she's kind of <laughs> wondering whether or not she fucking might be Mussolini in disguise is fucking insane <laughs> it's me I've sat here quietly because I've been so afraid of having difficult discussions of, of um, I'm scared of misspeaking I'm scared of saying the wrong thing well the n word criticism I'm scared that I might say nigger when I meant to say hit trigger <laughs> But I, I'm, I think that I'm done with that. Like, I am absolutely a big ball of useless dust on the ground. And I have completely ripped my own ideals apart. I don't like who I've become. I don't like the friends that I've kept. And I want to change. And I can't, I don't have the power to do much else than to fix my fucking heart. Like, yo, 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 yo. By the way, by the way, by the way. She doesn't know George Floyd. George Floyd isn't a relative. She has probably no friends that have passed away from any kind of police brutality. All her black friends, as she said, were in school. She lives in LA. I don't know. I don't know what the connection... <laughs> I don't know what the connection is. But, oh my God, it's making me sweat. Oh, this is better than what I imagined it to be. Like, I want to fix my heart. I don't want to continue to say it's justifiable to be racist just because for the sake of comedy i don't want to be that person anymore i think that by virtue of growing up filipino racism is so deeply embedded into our comedy that it's after after a long time it feels benign it feels like something that's justifiable but it what is this like is she like wings of redemption did she have a dog called nigger when she was younger or something <laughs> or does she call her cat Denzel and she's to kick it down the fucking street like what the fuck are you talking about 
or does she mean like Asian on Asian racism? Because I know Asians get down really deep when it comes to racism. Do you know what I mean? Um, but it's fucking hilarious, man. She's throwing everyone under the bus: Filipinos, Southeast Asians, and, like immigrants. Like everyone's getting it. It's not. It's not, and it just it, it 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 it's a small seed that eventually turns into a rotten fruit. And I've gave myself, and I think that's ultimately it. Like I'm ashamed that I've been so useless in all of this, <laughs> and I I just wanna I wanna be better. I wanna and die. I I just don't really have much else to say because. Tyrone, I want to suck your cock again to make up for George Floyd's death or something. Bruv, this is, anyway, this is the point I'm making. This is the video I was talking about. Let's go back to the main.